What's up? This is Tim with Tactics Board Shop. Today we're talking about when you should finally retire those old ground down trucks and get some new ones. Then I'll give you some tips on how you can keep those trucks grind until the wheels fall off. Trucks are the longest lasting component on your skateboard and can last several years depending on how much grinding you do or how much impact you put on them. Many skaters like riding the same trucks for as long as possible because getting used to new trucks can take a while and can change the way the board rides and how certain tricks feel. In most cases, you can replace only the parts you need in order to keep skating the same set of trucks for a long time. You can replace the bushings, washers, nuts, pivot cups, kingpin, and sometimes the base plate depending on the brand. There are some instances where you're going to have to get new trucks. If the axle is snapped or really badly bent, if the pivot is broken, if you've grinded through almost all of the axle, or if the base plate is really badly cracked or shattered then you'll have to replace your trucks. If you're strapped for cash, you can certainly swap out the broken parts with parts from your friends or components from a previous set of trucks to make a Franken truck. But make sure you stick to parts that are similar in size and from the same brand because different brands have different geometry and might not work well together. In the instance where you break something that's replaceable, it's more cost effective to replace only the part you need rather than getting brand new trucks. A truck rebuild kit is a good investment because it'll come with all the components such as bushings, washers, axle and kingpin nuts, and pivot cups to revitalize your trucks and keep them going. It's a good idea to inspect your trucks occasionally for cracks in the hanger or the base plate. Tiny micro cracks aren't an immediate concern, but if they start spreading or getting wider, then it's an indication that the trucks might break soon. Bushings commonly get worn out over time and start making your trucks floppy and unstable and can cause you to get lots of wheel bite. If your bushings are split or crushed on one or both sides, it's probably worth replacing your bushings so you can get some more responsive turns and less flop. Check out the first link in the description below for a guide on how to replace your bushings. Another fixable problem is a broken kingpin. Replacement kingpins are only a couple bucks, which is much more cost effective than getting a new pair. You can replace a kingpin with just some simple tools in about 20 minutes. There's another link in the description with a guide on how to replace your kingpin. Independent sells replacement base plates with kingpins already in them. So you're in luck if you're skating indies and need to get a new base plate. It's a cost effective alternative to buying a new set of trucks, so keep an eye out for those. If the ends of your axles are all mangled and the threads are screwed up, it's really hard to get the axle nut back on there after taking it off which sucks if you just got some new wheels or replaced a broken bearing. Thankfully, there are some tools that come with a built-in die so you can re-thread the axle and get the nut back on there. There's also a link in the description for a guide on how to do that. If your pivot pops out of the pivot cup, it's probably a combination of loose trucks and a blown out pivot cup. Replacing a pivot cup is an easy and inexpensive fix. Just pry out the old one with a screwdriver and put the new one in. You can get pivot cups on their own, or you can get them as a part of a truck rebuild kit. Be sure they're the same brand though, because they might not fit properly otherwise. If your hardware holes are stretched out, you don't necessarily have to get new trucks, but you'll have to be on top of keeping your hardware tightened up, because they will shift a ton if your hardware gets loose. If your trucks are super squeaky and that bothers you, you can actually rub wax on the tops and the bottoms of your bushings to stop them from squeaking. If you got any questions or additional tips on truck maintenance, just leave them in the comments down below or just give us a call and we can help you get the answers you need.